Hi, Dave Soriano, chem professor, University of Pittsburgh Bradford in Western Pennsylvania. And uh, one of my research interests is photovoltaic solar cells. And I work with ionic liquids. What you're seeing here in this beaker is a bionic liquid. And by that I mean it is a mixture of vitamin B4 commonly known as choline chloride, inexpensive, relatively safe, with uh, a one to two molar ratio, respectively, of the choline chloride and malonic acid. So it's a bionic liquid, and the interesting thing is the copper one oxide semiconductor, the venerable semiconductor copper one oxide, dissolves appreciably at room temperature in the bionic liquid. So therefore, I immediately applied it. Here you can see a little prototype I made for uh, undergraduates to work with or STEM students. Took a little bit of uh, the material, applied it to a wick. You can see it at the bottom. Put it in this little plastic housing with caps. I got a rubber uh, plug with a hole. Copper wire goes through the wick. At the top half of the wick, it's in electrolytic solution, copper 2 sulfate. And the bottom has the semiconductor. And the main thing there is the uh, surface area application. Now, of course, in the photovoltaics industry, they're using expensive equipment to do a thin layer, uh, thin film deposition, electro spray, spray, other techniques, analytical uh, measurement surface science. Here, uh, you can apply the copper one oxide to a wick. I get these wicks from Tiki Brand in Wisconsin. They're online, tikibrands.com. Works pretty good. And uh, I drilled a hole in the bottom of this so I can insert a multimeter electrode at the bottom, touching that uh, copper one oxide. And at the top, a copper wire comes through, about five millimeter diameter, hooked up to the other end through the uh, the rubber uh, cork. I have a light bulb here, about 150 watt, frost free tungsten. Let me put it on there. Hmm. Yep, the battle is the. There we go. And uh, I'll put my multimeter on, measure the potential. I have it uh, at the two setting, so I'm going to multiply this value by two. And uh, let's see if I'm touching the. Uh, okay. I'm touching the material and. Uh, Getting about a, and it's going up, uh, about 0.30, 310 or so millivolts, huh? So it works. It's a prototype. And uh, lots of things to work on with this. Uh, hook them up in series and power parallel, depending on the uh, whether you want the voltage or uh, current. And, uh, different uh, semiconductors, different ionic liquids, and uh, I'll also try to put the copper sulfate in the ionic liquid, the bionic liquid, with the semiconductor. So another look at it, and uh, probably want to coat the copper one oxide when it's applied to the uh, wick. You probably would want to uh, Maybe put a little bit of a thin coating of honey or glucose, which is uh, reducing sugar, an antioxidant, uh, to preserve the copper one oxide, the copper one state. So we'll be uploading more information uh, as we go along on our experiments. But here we have a little solar prototype, which uh, is convenient for uh, students to work on, and even graduate level researchers may find applications with this. Hey, thanks for watching, and look for our other videos on our research as it goes along. I'm Dave Soriano, University of Pittsburgh, Bradford in Western Pennsylvania, USA. I'm an associate professor of chemistry with this school. Bye for now.